everyone. Welcome to another episode of our Girls Rising Virtual Connect. We're um, happy to have you all here. We have some really special guests in the house today. We have the one and only Miss Cardi Wilson. Miss Cardi is a Zoom. A talk show goddess. She is a chef extraordinaire. What else are you? A singer, Grammy. I mean, you're just a, a mom. A mom. A mom. And you are a very good friend, and we love you. I love you guys. I'm so glad to be here. Girls, I love you, girls. Mm. And then we have some special student guests. We have the DeFeo sisters coming in all the way from Seacliff, mm -hmm. New York. They are all in the North Shore School District. So we have. Juliana, we have Ava, and we have Taya, and uh, all three girls have sort of a unique situation going on. Um, Julie's a senior in high school, so she's getting ready to graduate, leave college. Uh, and our middle one, Ava, is an eighth grader, so she's about to leave middle school and go into high school. And then Taya is a junior in high school, so this is a huge year for juniors, obviously. They've got to be prepping for college and SATs and prom and there's all sorts of big things that are going on so we thought today we could get together and maybe talk about how we're all coping with managing the unexpected the hugely unexpected I mean it's one thing to have you know like an event and it rains you know and then you're like oh I have to sort of recalibrate my mind it's a whole other thing when you're talking about Carney for example your business being completely shut down uh Carney has her own business called Love Bites. And then the girls obviously are, you know, a lot of disappointment going on with your school situation. So just thought we could talk a little about that. Carney, you want to like kick it off? Yeah. Thanks for letting me be here. Um, I, uh, first of all, it's nice to meet you girls. You're you. all so beautiful. And uh, C Cliff, wow, I, I was there, um, was it last year? Yeah. So was it last year? It was a, like, like a two year years ago. ago. It was two years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> two years already? Oh my God. Yeah. Well, it was so beautiful driving around. So I, I remember where you live so I can picture where you are. It was such a beautiful place. And, um, you know, um, it's a weird, it's a weird time right now. I think everybody's in this, in this adjustment mode. Um, and we don't really, we've never been faced with anything quite like this. So, the circumstances, because you use the word circumstances, you know, the circumstances are really different than what anyone is used to. An adult, um, a, you know, a teenager, a young child. And, and I think that, you know, the adaption right now is, is, uh, is we're trying to adapt, right? So in our daily lives, this is what I know for me in my life no matter what the circumstance is and when something is sort of stopped or something comes to a halt or there's a, a different outcome that I wanted or, um, you know, somebody changed their mind on something or something didn't work out or I didn't, you know, win this or get that, that I've always been able to look back on it and know that it happened for some reason. And while you're sitting in it and while you're sitting in those sort of feelings of like the disappointment or the frustration or the anger or, or like the why, 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 um, that one day, and that could be a month from now, a year from now, five years from now, that you'll look back and you'll say, I'm either glad it happened, believe it or not, um, or I, I get why it happened now. Um, but during that process, um, I think we are always going to grow stronger from it because it tests our patience. It tests our ability to um, accept things, um, you know, going against, it, it's weird because it's kind of like, as you get older, you sort of learn like, um, you know, lessons are hard, but it's not that we're being punished, so we have to learn a lesson right now. We feel like we're being punished, I would think, you know? And I wanna ask you girls questions too, but um, I know that there's always a beginning and a middle and an end to something. And that gives me big, like big time comfort. I have daughters that are your age. Um, my little one is gonna be 11, but Lola is a freshman in high school and she's totally frustrated and, and just like, 
everyone is just in this together. Um, but I'll just start with that because I don't want to go on for too long with one answer because you know me, I could talk forever. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I've been through a lot and I can tell you that I've been through a lot of disappointment in my life. But I've also been through a lot of um, joy. And, you know, it's almost like I'm grateful for the disappointments because when the things that do work out come, I'm so thrilled and excited about it that I just, I'm, I'm so much happier because I can feel that joy, you know? Yeah. Um, girls, talk to us about some of the things that were on the books and that you had coming up that are now have been completely derailed for you. Um, maybe Ty, you tell us as a junior, what, what was coming up that you feel like has sort of been pulled away or now you're really stressing about or I mean, and how have you sort of managed to, to cope with it? Every like testing that I had set up, like SATs and AP exams, like yeah. they're all canceled. Yeah. And they're trying to be accommodating and like supply like um, review material, but yeah. it's really hard over. Like, yeah. Time. I imagine it's stressful, right? Because it's time to start thinking about college, yeah. at least the early stage of it, right? Yeah. taking those exams. Were you taking any prep courses for it or anything? Well, I took some in the fall, so I was like prepared for that, but right. I had like stuff to do online and it, it's all just like getting really messy now. So it's yeah. Stressful. Yeah, I bet. And then split screen, Julie, right? You've been accepted somewhere. Yes, I'm going to Portland. In the That's great. Congrats. Portland. Yay! <laughs> Portland! <laughs> Yay! Oh, but Portland. Portland, Maine or, Portland, Maine or Portland, Oregon? Portland. 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 That's yeah. nice. I've lost my hearing during this whole thing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it might um, be that hat. <laughs> but no, it's your yeah. senior year. So how do you feel about that? Like, what's happening between you and all your friends? And Well, for April 1st, we were supposed to, have, or April 4th, I think, something like that. Uh, we were supposed to have our fashion show, our senior fashion show, and that yeah. got canceled. Yeah, last night it was supposed to be. They got canceled, and as of right now, the day we come back, I think it's April 30th, 30th, May 1st. Yeah. That's college acceptance day. So, like, if it gets pushed back anymore, then you're missing more events. And then, yeah. then it goes into junior prom, and our senior prom is at the end of, June as graduation. So yeah. So as of now, you're hopeful that all those things will still happen. Yeah. Yeah. But are you feeling like a sense of loss that you aren't able to spend this time with at school and, you know, these are like your last months here? Yeah. Did like, you ever think in a million years you'd want to go back to school? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, let me ask you. Girls, is there anything, I know this is like a hard time, right? But is there anything that's positive that you guys have found that might be coming out of this? Like, are you connecting more with each other or your family or anything that you think is a positive thing? What like keeps me going, because like, I always talk to my friends about this, like we're always like really upset because we're so used to seeing each other five days a week, six hours every day, so it's hard but i'm like we can't be negative about this because we're healthy and right. we have a family at home and we just have to be appreciative for what we have first and then worry about it all after because it's gonna end we all know it's gonna end it's just a matter of time so right it's it's funny uh, it's funny because we i feel like i was always telling my girls don't, don't be on TikTok so much. Don't go on Instagram. Don't do the Snapchat, Snapchat, every second with the Snapchat. And like, you know, I go crazy. I mean, it's, and it's funny because I have to stop myself because I, I can get hooked on it too. Yeah. But um, it's weird how like now, even though we have all this opportunity to actually do it even more, look how much we crave to be in person. Right. And it, it's amazing how I just feel like we're all going to appreciate things so right. much more when this is done. Well, right. you, you know, Carney, to that, to that point, I think it's actually the, um, the opposite side of, of that coin. Um, I have family in Florida and we're actually connecting on screens so much more than usual. Whereas, you know, we would text or email, you know, we would be in contact, but now we're scheduling FaceTime calls and my, 
mom is with the kids an hour a day on FaceTime, like, or, or any, whatever, the video conferencing. So this has actually pushed us into uh, a comfort zone with, with the technology in a way that we wouldn't have otherwise. Um, and so, so that is a bit of a positive that is coming out is, uh, is, is reaching out in this new way. Like we have a whole new framework has been set up for people to do business. Um, ex you know, I, I just feel like while everything is shut down and shut in, there is such a growth happening. There's this huge explosion uh, just, just happening and percolating and we won't come out of this the same. There's just oh, no way. No yeah. way. But what that is, is connection. Right. It's, it's, it's unearthing that very deep need, what Carney was saying, about connecting. Like, we need to connect. And that's what that is. It's just, we're now being forced to do it over video screens. And to your point, Nini, yeah, that's going to obviously be, that's a tech technology right. thing too, that we're now going to probably be, it's going to be embedded in how we move forward for totally. sure. And it's interesting also, to see how that goes, but it's all about connection. Also, imagine ha having to go through this without our phones or computer or this. Yeah. I mean, if you sit for two seconds and I mean, we would literally be staring at the television and the radio and four walls. Yeah. That would suck. You know, they talk <laughs> that about- That would suck. You guys have heard about the last pan pandemic in 1918 when they didn't yeah. even have TVs or anything. Like what in the world? I, I couldn't imagine. Oh my gosh. You know, couldn't Ava, I'm curious, Ava's, um, Ava's the youngest in the bunch here. Um, how, how has it been for you being homeschooled and how are you transitioning with the technology? And has it been an easy transition? Has it been tricky? What have been some of the... Well, being at home, I find it easier to do my schoolwork because it gives me more time and it's like, it's easier to have the materials in front of me when in school, if, I'm, if I don't have something, it's like more difficult and it's in a time frame and I work better when I have time and I'm focused. Yeah, well, that's interesting. See, my daughter, Kate, I've found too that it's been working to her advantage because one of the one of the things Kate's teachers always say to us when we come in for our parent-teacher conference is that Kate's such a great student, if only she could focus and not be such a shitty chat, like checking out what's happening all over the classroom. And so now she gets up every morning and, and just goes, you know, pops up her little, you know, Google Chromebook and like pounds out all of her homework. Uh, and, you know, also because she also wants to do now, everybody's like totally addicted to like whatever they're binge watching, right? Yeah. Kate just wants to get through her work and she's doing it really well and focus and then she like you know hops onto the you know netflix to watch one day at a time or whatever it is she's like totally into at the moment but i'm finding for her it's working my son thomas on the other hand he's struggling a bit with trying to like adapt to the online virtual learning but mm. um i don't know it's, i'm wondering if there's a thing if it's like a girl boy thing we'll see Our um, He's in third grade. He's been doing online classes. How's he doing? They have like a read aloud every single day for like an hour. And it's different because we've been like on iPads. I think they start giving them to you in like sixth grade. And he right. just got a Chromebook now for like the first time ever. Yeah. Do all of his work online. All of his like math work that you have to like normally write out has to be like done. On yeah. Like a spreadsheet. Um, you guys help him? Um, <laughs> so I take that as a no. <laughs> uh -huh. So if I were to point out one thing that I think is a perk, and Carney, this will perk your ears up, in fact. Um, the girl's mom is a baker, too. She has her own company. Fabulous. Called Sugar Rush. And so while we met a great name. While we've all been <laughs> in quarantine, the DeFeo kids have been sneaking around town, dropping cupcakes off on people's porches. Oh, sweet. So had it not been for this right. pandemic, ladies. Right. That's, what, <laughs> what, what, what positive. That's a positive. Free from sugar rush. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. Um, I just want to say that you, you wouldn't believe the power of positivity. You, it, it is, I honestly believe that it's, it's gotten me through a lot of uh, 
heavy duty things in my, my life. I had a broken family. I had um, a lot of, of hardcore things that I went through as a kid and came out of it and, you know, created a career for myself, um, you know, and, and have, have had all my struggles. I've struggled with my weight my whole life. Um, but um, I, I turned, I, I, I I have to turn a negative into a positive. Um, my mom is really responsible for this. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have a dad that was around the house that was like hands-on and, and loving and was there. I was really raised by my mom and my sister and I are, we're best friends and we, we started working professionally together. And it's amazing. You know, I always am blown away when sisters work together in a profession. Cause it, I mean, you talk about patience and, you know, dealing with each other's personalities and stuff like that. But, um, the bond of our, our sisterhood is so huge and I'm so grateful I work with her, but I know that, um, the Wendy, my sister, she's a Libra. She's funny. I love astrology. I'm totally into astrology she's a Libra. And so she, she's very fair. So she's like, Oh, but I understand their point of view, but I understand their point of view. And I'm like, do this, do that. Cause I'm a Taurus and I want to command everybody what to do. <laughs> so, um, but it's good to have to work with this, with someone that sees both sides of, of the, of the picture and to know that um, my relationship with her is, is precious. Yeah. And the one thing I can say is when we were making our first album, Wilson Phillips, the group that I'm, that I'm a singer in, you know, I looked at everybody and I said, you know, we're going to sell 10 million albums. And they all looked at me like I was crazy. And you know what? We did. We sold 10 million records of our, fir our first record. And it blew everybody's mind because it wasn't that I was like the fortune teller of the group. It was more like the attitude of we can do anything that we actually put our minds to. Now, am I going to be 5'8 and weigh 120? Am I going to grow wings and fly? Probably not. But, you know... <laughs> I mean, but I can be, I can be the best, I can be the best version of me, you know, and, right. and that, and that feels really good to wake up and know that I have my prayer because I'm very spiritual. So, um, during this time, I, I pray, um, I stay positive and I try to find one thing every day where I can help someone see the bright side of things and know that, um, one day it's going to all, this is going to end and we're going to get back to life. Right. Yeah. Carney, yeah. that's um so that's actually a really interesting question for the girls is um as sisters and just as as women going through this crisis is what do you feel like you can do or what are you trying to do every day along the lines of what Carney was saying to stay positive, to bring some good and to be good to yourself. Like is there do you have any sort of systems in place, something you try to do every day or now having heard Carney speak about that, is there something you want to try to do every day or just if you could. I would like to try to go on a run every day, but. <laughs> right. I do art. I try to do art every day and I paint and just sticking to like your normal re routine and trying to like make it seem as normal as possible. Yeah. Right. right. And Ava. I play sports every day, or I try to play sports every day. Right. Like, my lacrosse season was canceled this year because it's a spring sport, and that's, like, my main sport, and it was canceled. So I tried my best to, like, not get annoyed about it and just... Yeah. Time. Yeah, so how do you try your best not to get annoyed about it? I mean, what do you do? It's done. It's done. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. So what what can you try to do to get your headspace into a positive place when you just... You're just pissed about it. it stinks. Well, I'm excited about next year and playing for a travel team. And being right. able to play for junior varsity of varsity. And yeah. I do that. Jules, what about you? Well, as of right now, for me, we, me and my sister are on the varsity golf team. And it looks like our season's going to get canceled. And, like, this was my last year. But my dad's a big golfer, so I can go and play with him if I want to. And just keep that, keep doing that. Just stay positive about yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tally, what about you? What about bringing positive? I mean, we're all, like, in a house together, so I try to not, like, stay away from everyone, even if, like, it can get, like, frustrating, to, like, staying in a house with everyone, so I try to interact with, like, them, like, I don't either have a conversation with them, just reach out to them at least a couple times a day. Yeah. So. Get in with each other? Yeah. And also, I want to say, like, every day can be different. One day you feel, like, you're loving and you want to, like, snuggle up or you want to, like, you know, say something nice or just, like, chill and not 
overthink things. And other days you're just like pissed and angry and just don't want to like even deal with it. And I feel like I, I try to give my daughters their space. Yeah. You know, if she just wants to go and I mean, when her homework is done and, and, and we, I try to take a walk with them every day, but like, at least give her the space to just kind of feel and do what she wants to do and that that's okay too. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, You know, someone, um, I was on a text chain of moms and they were saying how, um, how it was, there were moments that were so frustrating because everybody's in the house, everybody's hungry, everybody wants snacks, everybody this, everybody that, and they just felt like they needed to manage everything at every moment and they had no time for themselves. And I have, you know, I, I think we've all have probably felt that this at some point. And I think what was interesting was the feeling that it's okay to force time for yourself, force time, whether it's, you know, in the bathroom, lock the door, whether it's go to a different room and it's okay to, to take that time and to f- make that time. If, um, if at all possible, whether it's a walk or something, um, for your own sanity, for your own space, for your own thoughts. Um, I saw somewhere too, I can't remember if I read it or I heard it on a podcast or something, but you know, the, the truth is we're here in New York, at least for the New Yorkers, like it is ground zero and it is bad news. Yeah. It's a lot of bad news. It's affecting a lot of people around us, um, friends, family. I just found out today that two of my best friends are have it mm-hmm. and uh, you know it's hard not to we're all questioning what's happening and it's a scary time so whereas on the one hand you know we're expected to be oh you're home you've been given been handed all right. the time yeah or be super productive now go you know like now it's time to write your opera now you write your Broadway show. Mm-hmm. It's not time for you to write your Hamilton, Carney. And it's like that kind of pressure is like, I can't. I've just, I've just let go. And I've said, you know what? I got up today. I washed my hands 5,000 times. Yeah. I helped my kids. Cracking and bleeding. Oh not my God. kidding. But I think that pressure is not fair, Chris. That pressure, and I, I know because, I, I mean, we all feel it. And I think it's okay to say that that's, it's not reasonable. You're not home. They didn't, the world didn't just suddenly go on vacation. It's, you know, the anxiety that we're dealing with as parents and just as people, uh, seeing our friends getting sick, um, trying to keep our family safe and fed and the groceries and this and that and the other thing. And it's not a retreat. Like we're not all on this retreat away from work. Like, ooh, I've got free time, you know, and my head isn't in that game. My head is every second sort of worried about the next step for the family. And sure, we can carve out time and, uh, you know, do your best to try to fulfill your creative self, but it's not, you know, it's not a retreat. We didn't just go all into an ashram and have unlimited free time. And yeah, the point, no, I the point was, and I think I saw something about that too, it's like, this isn't the time to pressure yourself to produce. Mm-hmm. To learn this a language. Time to do that. <laughs> this isn't. <laughs> So, Any woman laying low, you're doing the world a favor. Exactly. So true. Exactly. Time to just quiet down, take care of yourself, take care of the people around you. Really, that's really it. Also, um, before you know this happened, um, I've always been someone that's trying to create a balance in my life because I I feel like there's a there's a space for all emotions, all events, all everything, and um and that's we're just looking at it in a different way. So it's like, I'm always craving like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And that's what makes life. And now the little bit of this and a little bit of that looks different. Yeah. Maybe there's a lot more of, of anxiety and there's less of this, but the one thing that has to be in the forefront is the hope, the positivity, and knowing that we're going to be on the other side of this. And, and you guys are going to get to tell your children yeah, you know, and your grandchildren that you guys were were basically stuck at home, and while a lot of people got sick, a lot of people didn't, and then a lot of people helped each other through it, and there were good things that came out of it. Look at our skies, look at our earth. I mean, we're right. learning a lot of stuff that's happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I've repeated myself a lot during this, but we kind of have to. And as we know, with this routine, oh my God, it's Groundhog Day. You get up and you go, wait, yeah. is, is coronavirus <laughs> really still out there? Ah, crap! You know. I'm using my good language right now, believe me. You're my doing daughter. a great job, by the way. I'm I really proud of you. Thank it's you. It's so important to repeat it. It's so important because right. we need to 
continually see it because to your point earlier one minute we can be fine and then the right. next out of nowhere we're spiraling you know and or that's like, totally it's fine it's that's yeah, totally and I also I also want to repeat the point that Libras are a very important uh, astrological sign, and you should be very thankful that you right. have so close to you. You should be very <laughs> thankful, Connie, that you have a sister who's a Libra. I know. Yeah. What are your What are your signs, ladies? DeFeo triplets. I'm Cancer. I'm Cancer. Cancer. I'm Virgo. Two Virgo. Cancer and a Virgo. Yeah, emotional, emotional. Yes. <laughs> I'm a Libra. I love it. We are. I'm a Leo. Oh, the fire, yeah. I, I know it's, it's it, I don't even know if it's a West Coast thing, but I've always loved astrology since I was a little girl. I was fascinated by it. Actually, our cool. grandmother was really into it, so it's fun, yeah. Um, yeah, but you know, there's there's so much ahead of you, you girls. There's a huge, huge, wonderful, bright, beautiful future for you guys, and just you got to just keep the beautiful smiles on your faces and know that time goes by really fast, even when it goes by slow, yeah. It, it, you'll suddenly will be on the other side of it. and um, yeah. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. Carney, you are amazing. Um, if thank I you. if I have gleaned anything from this conversation, it is to maybe um, to hold, hold on for one more day. Um, oh. <laughs> that was, I like the way you delivered. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well done. And, uh, and no, honestly, um, everything you do for our organization, every time that you speak and share of yourself, um, it's fantastic. And I love being a part of it. Um, DeFeo girls, you're the best. Um, you know where I live for those cupcakes. And, um, <laughs> and um, I can't wait to see you guys out running in, in the park and, and to go play volleyball on the beach again soon someday. Yeah, yeah. And um, Kristen, Kathy, obviously everything um, that we're doing for Girls Rising, if there's anything girls that we can do for you guys, um, just reach out. You know where to find us. Yep. Great to Thank meet you, girls. everybody. Love you it's all. so good to see you. We'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Stay Bye. tuned Bye. for another. Uh, stay tuned for another Girls Rising virtual connect. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank Bye. you. Bye.